As a clinician, one of the worst things in the world is listening to a patient gasping for breath. In those moments, oxygen means life. The COVID-19 pandemic reminded us how precious the life-saving resource is and how limited it is around the globe, especially in low- and middle-income countries. Every year, hundreds of thousands of patients die due to a lack of oxygen. This includes those with pneumonia, tuberculosis, and other respiratory diseases. At Partners in Health, we know this injustice has a cure. That's why we committed to a new initiative called Building Reliable, Integrated and Next Generation Oxygen Services, or BRING O2 for short. Our goal was to accelerate access to oxygen in five countries. With funding from Unitaid and in partnership with Build Health International and Pivot Health Madagascar, we improved oxygen systems in Lesotho, Madagascar, Malawi, Peru and Rwanda. Bring O2 addressed the oxygen crisis through key elements of strong health systems, staff, stuff, space, and systems. We improved the stuff by repairing and installing vital equipment, including pressure swing absorption plants, oxygen cylinders, concentrators, and piping systems. We trained more than 140 biomedical engineers and staff in how to maintain the highly technical equipment and taught 470 healthcare workers how to effectively administer oxygen. We improved the space and infrastructure by creating a system for consistent, long-term care with reliable oxygen across healthcare facilities. We already achieved major milestones across sites by repairing or installing 25 oxygen plants and more than 230 oxygen concentrators. More than 3,400 oxygen cylinders were filled and distributed. This work expands access to oxygen at facilities serving over 33 million people and increases oxygen supply to treat more than 120,000 patients each year across five countries. It also serves as a model for what can be done to build a health system so that it is resilient in times of crisis and beyond. This work is critical. It is life-saving. Because when you hear a patient gasping for breath, all you want to do is ease their suffering. You want to give them another chance at life.